you know, we've gone through phases of like, the melee community with, you know, like the Summer of Smash and then having um, Big House and Genesis kind of not back to back, but being in the same corner of, of the, I guess, the calendar year. So it, it's changed a lot for, for us players who can't make it to every single tournament, but do want to go to the big ones. So I'm making the effort. So this is the Bad Melee podcast. Um, the last episode, we didn't make it to rounds the last couple of weeks. Um, we were talking about how like, people just have lives. It's kind of like one of the people to go to the big stuff, which is why, why locals be kind Pretty of hit or miss depends on where you go. But I know like, at some spots, they're really, really strong. For example, where I close from, I like, well, it's kind of like the weekly piece of the East Coast right now. Um, then Nova Scotia, I know, has been kind of been making an effort for a lot of their stuff. No, Kings of Halley just happened, which Yankee won out. I mentioned earlier. It's like they've been kind of making <clears throat> strides themselves, like get themselves more known. Yeah, we're gonna start off game one as we're just kind of talking, getting things going. Start on Fountain. Aqua being the better player, probably okay to start on Fountain. Typically, you don't see a start on this stage. You normally see yeah. Battlefield build before. So especially like, coming from. Especially as a New Yorker, Aqua's probably. He's the yeah, gonna go there. <laughs> it's the stage he usually goes to. Like, in my clip. Yeah, that's been but, a that's been a thing for a long time. Like even like free life, I feel like like maybe yeah, it's probably oh, sure. doing that too. Yeah, like, that, yeah that's that's the New York sure. thing. Yeah, it has been for a really long time. <clears throat> What's crazy is that I'm actually finally going to New York for function next month. I've never been to New York at all before until like function's gonna happen. Yeah, I, the place seems very unique. Uh, I would love to check it out sometime before I get too old to do mm -hmm. anything. That's true. Just, yeah, before you're too old, like Bobby Scar, and just have a kid and have a life where you can't yeah, exactly. like, just stay in your home and stream Street Fighter. <laughs> Those streams are pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie. No, he's good. I, I watched the Excellent Adventures uh, uh, episodes back in the day of them playing, going on their show, which, if you don't know, that's like kind of what how the, what the reads kind of basically ripped off. <laughs> was, uh, oh, that was the influence? Yeah, yeah, it was Mike Cross and funny guy who I'm not gonna say uh, for, uh, um, basically did the same thing as the Reeds but on Street Fighter they had a uh, Scar on there playing Makoto you can do some stuff he definitely is a good Street Fighter player yeah, there, there's people who just like get ideas. I think Slime was talking about how Slime on the Scene kind of became a thing because you know, obviously Man on the Street was a thing um, yeah. Slime on the Scene was kind of based off of that too I've seen you at my college were trying to do Man on the Street stuff too I remember very well oh yeah I mean so, if you Every time I see something like that, I just think of uh, Al Gasto breaks in Channel 5. Like, that's mm -hmm. just, everyone's just trying that to capitalize off that type of uh, funny interview. I remember very vividly, it's back when I was in college, it's like 2018. Um, I'm at work, like in an office, like across like, from like, like the main like student area on campus. And there was this whole housing like debate going on between like off-campus students and on-campus students and like the university. And I look outside my office window, I just see a bunch of like students just like, protesting and shit like that and then i just see somebody just doing man on the street content like, oh yep he's doing the slime on the scene too <laughs> yeah, he, had, I, he had like a journalist check on everything i got recommended a slime on the scene actually hold on let's let's see what happens here no <laughs> was so, there, was, uh, there was some really sick i, I saw the, like the down smash after shine on stage that was actually pretty fire and he just holds the ledge and i'm like you know what that happens because <laughs> we're just we're just shooting the shit <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, we're just shooting the shit, and then I was like, wait, hold on, Inky can What's actually happening? do this. So you remember, it's Fox Sheik. If you know, if you, if you, and if you're not J Mook, it's fucking impossible. <laughs> it's tough. It's real tough. Going back, I respect it. I think this is a good stage in the matchup, regardless. And you did keep it close that last game. Classic, you know, just make a few adjustments. I want to run it back. That's all I need to win. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm, beautiful stuff. Ah, oh, he almost got the edge guard, which is quite ball, but gets the re grab anyway to be able to reset off. His pit section has been really strong at the start of this game, too. He's getting him a really, really steady lead. He's got to find us like this one hit, and that should be the first off. Is it just called the spark? Do we have like a is it like a name for it? Is it like the milkshake or something? Or is it just the Well, like the poof? Or what do yeah. you Yeah, well, when you do the yeah. runoff, grab the ledge. Uh, so you I poof like... regardless. You do, you yeah, but like the way he does it. Yeah, you're, yeah, that's exactly. Uh, I mean, we could dub it. I'm sure Spark Sparkle from Jack Field would say that. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> and they don't say like boom after something Spark likes to do every play melee. I like I yeah. watch Spark stream. He'll like hit a tip for his Mark. He's playing Mark on rank. He just yell like boom, and I'm like yes, yeah, Spark Spark does. He's just having a good time. He is like the holy traveler of the game. He just pops up. He's like just just it's just a big homie. For sure. He's uh he's been in the Midwest a lot lately actually. 
Yeah, he went to Philly too, I think, like, for. I think it was No Johns. That was in the summer. He's been, like, just popping up there here and there. Like, he is a guy who very much will just, like, take a bus from point A to point B, and if he ever needs to, he probably will sail to a tournament. So if he got like, Fate 4, I could see him very much sailing to that. Sailing? Look, 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 he'll find the way. <laughs> like, I'm That'd be kind of cool. I would not be surprised if he did. Just so spark on a boat, just fixing his controller for like eight hours. <laughs> hey, that, that, yeah, you stay productive. If, you, if, you, if you're gonna be fucking selling shit at the venue, you gotta do something in the meantime when you're on the way there. <laughs> right now, uh, Bearbot Inky had a pretty big lead. Well, maybe he'll even add to this right now. That's big. Yeah, you go up the top flat. Yeah, the top platform there, which won't move at all. It's just so helpful when you're trying to recover here. Uh, hold the ledge. Yep. Okay. Inky starting to fight back a little bit. To maintain this lead. If he gets another grab, and gets at least like 30 off that. He's probably dead, isn't he? Yeah. Has up B. Had no jump. Oh, just got away from that. Set up from Akko to Waveland and position himself perfectly to get the back air was so well placed to finish that off. I feel like if he was in any other spot, that probably would have had to adjust like way too like tight. Just up being above the needles. Oh, the platform rising from the depths. Oh my god, that's just Akko things to be fair, but oh my god, that was amazing because he would have been dead otherwise. That would have been game. He might have a second win right now, too. Pressure? Oh, there's a down smash again. Hit that last game. Up smash would not have killed on this stage. Iki needs to find a way down and not like get punished by Aklo. Alright, hold center stage. Yep, okay, they're playing. They're kind of taking a breather. Oh, tries to run in, gets caught with jabs, but no, he backs off. Oh, yeah, just know where you're coming back. That's rough. Iki clutching up. I'm not sure if the dash attack was intentional. Like, if I'm not. I don't know all of Fox's options off of dash attack, but that would be really unfortunate if it was a flub. But my only thing, sure. my only thing I know of dash deck is Fox is up smash if you hit it after. It mostly yeah. gets fastballers though. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is like I, it seems more consistent against fastballers, but um, you could definitely probably win. It. It's Fox's dash attack at certain percent so it's cheap. I'm not you just sure. go to itself, can it? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know the percentage threshold, or if that was like a flub or a conscious thing. I would assume it was. Uh, it probably was. Like, ooh, what the fuck? We're all human. Oh my, oh my god. What's going on? Okay, is he dead after all that? Oh my god. <laughs> they're both dead. No, oh, no, they're both, they're both alive. That's a flop. Twist. This is such a flaw twist. I don't know that anything. was. Oh, Icky and Atlo's wild ride. Oh my god. Yeah. Fox is That's silly. That up to Save them both. Crazy angle for that throw, too. Knockdown, hit crouch cancel. Yeah, this might just be another stock, maybe. Catch him with the tilt. Yep, yep, cheap things. A little bit, a little bit of uh, spice with the with the down air. Okay, yep, even the bag up. I don't love these down smash plays because he'll, whenever she can see they're coming in or he'll do it off of throw, he usually just falls on the down smash after. Which is kind of giving him a little bit of mileage, especially in like these higher percents we saw in both the uh, fountain games. The biggest thing I've taken away is. Uh, Akko's like recognition of when Sheik is trying to fall the ledge. He's gotten a quick shine. Mm -hmm. uh, that will keep Sheik off stage in a lot of situations. Or when you get put in that situation. Oh, oh, hold on. Breathe. Okay. <laughs> 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 I was just gonna breathe. He finished the combo. Because it almost evened up the game there. Mm -hmm. But uh, getting the Sheik in that situation where you get the shine again um, is getting. Getting him a situation to where uh, most boxes would not get anywhere. Oh, okay. Alright. It's okay. Hold on. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, a little dash dance. A little dash dance. Yeah, he's, trying, he's trying to find like, some kind of opening for a grab, but Aqua's just not really falling for it. Yeah, there's that dash attack. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Just goes down afterwards, too. Bearbot kind of malfunctioned right there. I don't know. Okay. Oh, even with the tilt at low percent. I'm kind of surprised he got at least a crab out of that, but didn't really lead to anything. Napa might just get major percent. Mm, but for the turn around up tilt, another flop. Yeah, death tilt not going to give you anything. Going for the turn around up tilt, that'll wave shine. Kind of a hard maneuver. That's a really, really tight window, so you'd be really, really cautious with that. But fortunately, to get punished for it. Yeah, there's the tilt he's looking for. 
yeah, he's just max, racks up more percent. S up B. Not gonna really, can't, can't go anywhere. Get a cheek on FD. Not fun. Ooh, a fair idea was good, <laughs> but considering placement, yeah, it's gonna lead to a kill. Aqua gonna go up in that one. Now, <laughs> I like that. Better where you want to go. That was good. I don't know why I thought that was so funny, but I like that. Just fucking just shoot if you go down there once and shoot him once before you both die. Pop him in the head. A TF2 headshot. <laughs> yeah. There isn't really an equivalent of that in a in a FPS because you're like shooting yourself before you careen off the stage and also die. Mm -hmm. It's like doing a trick what? shot on uh, high rise where you jump off the crane on the side and you hit him with the 360 no scope. I was thinking of like. Jumping off a platform in Halo and like we were playing SWAT mode and you go oh, ahead and you yeah. jump across the map. That's what yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. No, that I, shit I was, was like, a... that shit was fire in Halo 3. No, you're, you must have been a Halo kid. I was a COD kid. Just came out there. Yeah, the yeah no, I, I was a Halo 3 kid and then I was a Gears of the War kid. Those are my main two shooters. I, you know, I was, I was at that age, like right when that shit came out, where it was like the multiplayer shooter was like becoming like the craziest fucking thing in the world. Like COD 4, yeah. Halo 3. Gears 3. Gears 3 is like my. Ha Gears 3 and Halo 3 are like the main two, because like Gears 3 Horde mode was so fun to play with friends. That is probably the best power defense I've played, like a shooter, was in, was that. And then Gears 3 Multiplayer was a lot of fun, and then Halo 3 just making maps and shit, and sandbox and all that stuff oh, was just like really fun. Yeah, yeah Horde that's good. Fucking, fucking I'm sad that I didn't play Reach a lot, because I had like the Horde mode. Just wrap it in the air. <laughs> we're yeah, just throwing cool. shit at each other. Fortunately, that typically is gonna favor Fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like, because he, he also just fall. Obviously, he'll get to the ground quicker because he's a fast faller, and his arrows just like are just so good. Like nine times out of ten, and they also just like can kill from that position as well. But not saying that Sheik's can, because if, if Sheik gets a couple more hits, and Fox is set for an edge guard. But if, you know, Fox is Fox. <clears throat> just tough. I mean, Sheik can edge guard Fox. Um, Technology we have today, there's so many mix ups Fox has. Mm -hmm. This is a good stage oh, for it. Um, with the battlefield platforms and then kind of with the, how they extend almost to the edge, and then also having the edge itself, damn. Uh, mm -hmm. It will make the edge guard slightly easier for she on this stage. Not seen a whole lot of that this game, though. Yeah, Aqua's mostly been kind of like staying away and then like, when he gets like, some kind of confirm or read, it's kind of just like giving him a lot of mileage. So I was just on him just grabbing the ledge off the up here recovery. And then like a lot of his aerials have been just really, really good on Inky. And Inky finally gets him off stage and I didn't find that one either. Crazy that, but he did a bad ledge dash, but he's still able to convert like a shine Mm-hmm. Oh god. He's <laughs> pissed off his wave dash is getting called him. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Could it just mean one grab? Nope, he's just a giant, and he's dead. That's my bad. That's not me. <laughs> that should do it, right? Is that 3-1? Yeah, that, that was a 